right, we're back with Misty, and we've got one more twitchy leg to do. This is our back leg, and I'm going to try and let her rest it on the table. And I'm just combing it up. And just like the rear leg, those half-inch universal combs are awesome for schnauzer legs, and especially the juice. I really like the juice on my really light-coated legs. And I'm going to try and help her so she don't sh vibrate so bad. But I'm just blending a straight line on the outside. All right, blending forward, but not taking off the, the, the fringe there or, or the um, whatever you want to call it, the fall. Because they should have natural flow to their leg hair. You don't want to take it all off. Also, if you take all this off, it makes the dog look a lot longer. So this is a half inch, this is a half inch. I did not cut the hawk hair and I did not cut the hair in the front. Okay. Then I'm going to take my hawk hair and I'm going to, once I get my parallel line, I'm going to split it just like I did the front leg and I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, not all of it because I like to keep a little to give her a little extra angulation. I'm going to lift this leg gently, comb everything over. Anything that's wild and hanging down underneath here, I'm trimming up. But ultimately, I want straight overview. So I got a straight line this way and a straight line this way. We're going to blend that in a little bit more. And if you have any problems getting the coat to blend here between clipper work, just take your 45 tooth blenders and just soften that. All right, you've already raked over it with your undercoat rake. So you've got most of the dead undercoat out. So everything's flowing. And then just make sure that the bends in your leg are blending with your body work. And that's a good place for your 45 tooth blenders. Okay, that is it for Misty, the standard schnauzer. Thank you. Good girl.